<laughs> Let's talk about adversaries, enemies, people who consciously block your progress, who tell you that you cannot achieve your dreams. It could be your parents, we don't know. Those are the people you must truly love and cherish. The reason for that is utilized properly. The bastards in this world are the ones that will most assure your ultimate success. Let me give you an example that's very near to my heart. When I was a student here, I had a creative writing professor who told me rather bluntly that I did not have what it takes to be a writer. Mainly something about my grammar and spelling. I don't know what happened to him. I don't even remember his name. But I vividly remember that conversation in 1972, and I thank God for it, and I thank God for him. Because I spent the next 30 years trying to prove that old dickhead wrong. <laughs> you see dickhead in sign language? That's dickhead. That it's wonderful to have people in your life who tell you you're brilliant and talented. Could be your parents. We don't know. But so what? Do you really think you're going to spend the next 30 years proving them right? No. The thing you need to understand is that this universe seems designed to put people in our path who are exactly what we need to move us forward. And sometimes those people are assholes. There's an inner voice, too, that you have to deal with. The voice in your head that says you're not smart enough, not cute enough, funny enough, talented enough, thin enough. The voice that pretends to be you, but is not. Might be the voice of your parents. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that you must calmly thank that voice for once again pointing out what a loser you are and then carry on with your business. That's it. That's, That's all you can do. You can't make the voice go away or suppress it. It's not entirely true. You can. That's why God made alcohol. Of course, if you do fall, if you do fall into the habit of fighting that voice with alcohol, you will eventually wind up in a church basement, drinking stale coffee and telling strangers how you ruined your marriage, lost your job, and have to wear an ankle bracelet equipped with LoJack. And of course, at that point, the voice is right and you are a loser. <laughs> now, class of 09, you're leaving here today, venturing into a world filled with authority figures. These figures will in all likelihood be older than you. They will be wearing suits and ties or the female equivalent. And they will speak and act with gravitas, confidence, and strength. All of which might lead you to believe that they are smart or at least smarter than you. Wrong. R-O-N-G. The truth is there are very few people in this world who are smarter than you. But there are a lot of people, often in positions of authority and wearing nice suits, who have something you don't. And that's experience. And experience, in my experience, is more important than intelligence. In fact, I'm living proof. On two and a half men in the Big Bang Theory, I'm surrounded by people who are smarter than me. To be completely honest, there are times it pisses me off. But what I've come to realize is that I've been writing television for over 20 years and my experience has value. It's the commodity I'm paid for. Of course, I still like to carry myself as if I'm smart so I can con people like you into thinking so. But that doesn't change the the fact that smart, while being a wonderful attribute, doesn't by itself get the job done. Experience, on the other hand, can kick smart's ass. Not, experience is not fairy dust sprinkled over your head when you're born. Experience is something you gain. Anybody can, can gain it. My advice to you, class of 09, is go start gaining it. 
when possible, learn from people who have it and don't themselves confuse it with intelligence. And remember that mistakes and failure, sometimes humiliating, soul-crushing, oh God, just kill me and get it over with failure, is how you get experience. But it's worth it. Because one day, one day you'll realize your hard-won experience has value. And when the class of 2029 comes to work for you, you can parade around in your fancy, futuristic clothes and try to convince them you're smart.